Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe to the channel for regular content on ancient architecture, as well as all of the latest news from the world of archaeology. I've just returned from an amazing 10 day tour of Turkey, and I've finally got to visit two of my bucket list locations Gebekli Tepe and Karahan Tepe, and I was not disappointed. I also got to see another 10 to 11,000 year old Tashtapela site in Seybirch, and I explored the incredible Shanlertha Museum. These truly ancient pre pottery Neolithic sites were so very special to see in person. It was an incredible trip, an adept expedition tour that was run by NEXT, and I have to say it went like clockwork and it was great to explore these ancient sites with some fantastic like-minded people. But when I was there I learned of a new discovery, yet another pre-pottery Neolithic site, and for some reason the news did not permeate the western media. It's even older than both Gebekli Tepe and Karahan Tepe, and it's a site that nobody is talking about. Well, until now. It's called Mendic Tepe. I learned about it from NEXT, whose channel I've linked below, and now that I'm home I've been able to research the subject as much as possible. And there really isn't a lot written, and there's not a lot of pictures or videos published. But in this video, I'll be telling you and showing you everything we know about Mendic Tepe. The site was first identified in 2021 as part of a surface scan conducted by Dr. Fatma Shahin of Chukarova University. The surface scan initiative was part of the overriding Tashtapela project, and the findings were very exciting. So, Mendig Tepe was identified, and now it's being explored, with Dr. Douglas Baird from the University of Liverpool being the excavation scientific advisor. The project is being run with Chandler for Museum and its director Selel Uladag, and is sponsored and funded by the University of Liverpool and the British Institute at Ankara. Mendig Tepe is located just over 4 kilometers to the southeast of Chakmak Tepe, roughly 30 kilometers southwest of Gebekli Tepe, on a spur of land surrounded by a valley. Today, a desolate place but thousands of years ago there were clear views of the surrounding landscape and a water source nearby, the perfect location for a hunter-gatherer community. In 2023, just 10 days of excavations took place, with the purpose of understanding the nature and boundaries of the site, and the nature and dating of the structures identified in the surface scans. This year, Excavations began at the beginning of September and continued all the way through to the middle of October, but everything is still in a very early phase. Even though the excavations for this season have come to an end, work now begins to analyse the findings and data, and the experts will be learning more and more before excavations recommence next summer. So far, from analysing the chipstone artefacts, we know that this site dates back to the very beginnings of the pre-pottery Neolithic A, a transition site from the Epi-Paleolithic. It's the same age as its nearby sister site Chakmak Tepe, and I've made videos about this site in the past few years, and we learn from this publication in 2023 that Chakmak Tepe is between 12,000 and 11,500 years old so that's also a rough date for Mendic Tepe. So far at Mendic Tepe, oval buildings have been discovered. There looks to be a large one surrounded by smaller ones, maybe a communal building surrounded by domestic structures, just like what we see at Gebekli Tepe and also Karahan Tepe, but of course these are on a more monumental scale, and they also came later. Here we can see an excavated domestic structure from Mendic Tepe. There was significant investment in architecture, including dressed stones and elaborate walls. Lots of decorated stone vessel fragments have also been discovered in the excavations. 
experts think that Mendic Tepe could be the oldest permanent village ever discovered in the southeastern Anatolian region. Therefore, it is important. Mendic Tepe may give us an insight into why this site, and also the larger sites in the region, had a similar arrangement large oval buildings surrounded by smaller domestic structures. It may also tell us why people gave up their mobile lifestyle and adopted longer-term residence. Talking to the media, the Tashtapela project coordinator Nesmi Carroll said, quote, Mendic Tepe is an extremely important place in terms of understanding the first settlers in the region, end quote. The excavation area is only 2 hectares. Yes, the site is smaller than Gebekli Tepe and Karahan Tepe, but because Mendic Tepe is older, it is very important. And from the excavations, we should learn an awful lot about the early developmental stages of the pre-pottery Neolithic. No T-shaped pillars have been discovered, but Mendic Tepe and Chakmak Tepe do have some upright stones. They're not T-shaped, but are roughly rectangular in shape. One was found standing up outside of a large building, but at this time, it is too early to give any kind of interpretation. But because it stands outside the building, it looks to be more symbolic than functional. But I guess we'll wait and see. The excavations are being carried out with a very specific goal to understand the early stages of this ancient culture, because this settlement was occupied during the Younger Dryas cold and dry period, which is not the case for Gebekli Tepe and Karahan Tepe. When Mendic Tepe was first occupied, the climate was harsher, and so the findings will be interesting, and we will learn a great deal about the people in this region before they would go on to build the massive megalithic sites we all now know and love. Recently, the governor of Shanlertha, Hassan Shildak, accompanied Dr. Carroll to view the excavations, acknowledging the rich history of the region and wishing success to the project team. Excavations must be carried out with the utmost care and attention, because, as the Turkish authorities know so well, the Tashtapela sites are not just of interest to the local people, not just to the Turkish people, but to the entire world. It's part of the human story. But whilst researching Mendik Tepe, I could see a pattern emerging. Mendik Tepe and Chakmak Tepe are the two oldest Tashtapela sites identified so far, and they're both located in the west. So, over time, did people migrate across the region from west to east? But although this looks to be a fair assessment, it may not be the case. Gebekli Tepe and Karahan Tepe could well have started out just like Mendik Tepe in the very early stages of the pre-pottery Neolithic. But the early phases were built over as a settlement grew and better, more permanent building techniques were employed. Gebekli Tepe and Karahan Tepe also saw more later occupation, and this could have rubbed out the earlier architectural indicators. It's also important to think about the origins of Mendik Tepe and Chakmak Tepe. Of course, the people that lived there did not just appear from nowhere. There must have been earlier communities in the Epi Paleolithic. One of the interesting things about Mendig Tepe is that epi paleolithic like microliths have been discovered. So maybe originally it was a seasonal camp, where the structures built were not long standing and possibly made from organic material. Maybe similar mobile camps were dotted around the landscape, and because of the materials used, they're just hard to find today. It's therefore possible that some of these camps grew into permanent stone settlements over time. Of course, right now we don't know any specifics, and so excavations are important. The scope of the research is enormous, but I'm sure over time we'll get to see a glimpse of the bigger picture and how this part of the world developed during and after the last ice age. 
So far, less than 1% of Mendic Tepe has been excavated. But next year, larger trenches will be made and we'll get a better understanding of the settlement plan. And the archaeologists will also dig deeper and they'll expect to find archaeobotanical remains and animal bones. This will tell us so much more about how these people lived. Smaller artefacts have been discovered at Chakmak Tepe, including this exquisite decorated piece, and that's because excavations at the sister site are more advanced. I really can't wait to find out more about Mendic Tepe. It's another part of the story, another piece of the puzzle, and I'm sure there are many amazing new discoveries still to come from southeastern Anatolia. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.